Most of the DMs I get are recommendations these days. And this video is gonna be on tweaking those recommendations because I don't know how often I see a beer leaguer rocking a P92 that is just an absolute shooter and should be using a P28 or something custom that's more for a sniper or a beer leaguer using a 100 flex stick that cannot flex that because their you know, strength isn't there. Tweaking your gear to your game is the most important way that you can improve it. And this whole archer instead of the arrow thing, gotta go. You hear about it all the time, the NHL players rocking old gear, McDavid with jet speed skates that are 10 years old, Patrick Kane using an original Total One build. These guys know their gear and they know that it's tweaked to perfection for their game and they don't want to change. Sometimes technology does advance, but other times the best gear is the one that works for you perfectly. And I'll give you my example. I found an FT3 Pro in store a while back and surprisingly, I had to pick it up just because I love this stick and I keep going back to it. And the reason is, is because this is my top rated stick of all time. In terms of durability, it's not great, but this stick takes my game to another level. As Soon as I used it, five goal game, you know, assist six points. This stick is exactly what I would have if I was a pro and I was able to constantly use a very specific type of stick. 85 Flex FT3 Pro. This is my total one like Patrick Kane would always use. This would be my build. And that's why it's so important to find what works for your game and crush it. Use that only. And if it's not working, it probably is the gear. Get some recommendations, watch my videos, watch other information out there and find the best thing for your game. Uh, I don't know what's going on with this freaking curve here. Oh man, stick, P92, I don't know what's going on with that. Hey. Hey man, I uh, noticed you were struggling with your shot out there. Uh, you know, I don't usually do this, but I'm a hockey influencer, uh, YouTube. I uh, can help you out if you want, uh, give you some pointers with stick flex, uh, you know, kick point, uh, especially curve choice. Heard you mumbling about the curve there. Yeah, thanks man. Um, pretty sure it's the uh, archer, not the arrow. I mean, the stick is doing what it needs to do as far as I can tell. Ah yes, archer, not the arrow. Heard that before. Pretty dated actually. Here, give this a go. Uh, what am I supposed to do with this exactly? What are you doing with it? I, I hear that saying all the time, but uh, let's see you go kill a buffalo with that and then you'll kind of determine if it's the archer or not the arrow. It's kind of like hockey stick choice, you know, kick point, stick choice, curve especially. Definitely improves if it's tailored to your game. Definitely not killing no buffalo with that. Yeah, funny joke. Um, anyway, uh, what do you suggest then? You know, I'm rocking a P92. You know, I got an 85 flex, you know, brand new stick. So what do you suggest? P92? Oh man, you still on MySpace? I mean, what can I say? I like the classics. A classic? Here's a Blackberry to go with that ancient curve choice of yours. Just joshing, but you know, the P92, it's kind of like an older, you know, classic type curve. I, I definitely don't recommend it for a shooter. That's for sure. If you want to be a sniper, don't be using the P92. I use the P92 because it like gives me a challenge, you know, it makes me better hockey player if I can kind of nail it down. You still rub sticks together to start a fire? I mean, the P92, it was a classic. I mean, it, it was great at what it did, you know? How it works back in the day. It was the big curve of the century, the original Sackick. I mean, so was a typewriter. I mean, I get it. Like, the P92 is like the mainstream curve. It's like the dad bod of hockey curves. Everybody accepts it, but nobody wants one for themselves. Look, man, the P92 is like super versatile. Versatile? Yeah, so is the Pontiac Aztec. You know how that worked out. You could show the P92 at Denny's and get a senior discount. With the P92, you might as well just shoot with this end of the stick. Look at this thing, especially in max height and the like really slight curve. This thing's hideous. It looks like the monster from the Goonies. All right, I get it. No more terrible jokes. At least give me something that you would suggest. What exactly should I be changing here to make myself a better shooter then? All right, seriously though, all jokes aside, I always tell people to check out some different curves, especially, you know, with some of the customs and stuff that are available, like pro stock hockey sticks, et cetera. But the P92 is dated, man. It's definitely time to try something new. Like maybe the P28. That's kind of like the TikTok of hockey curves. That's what all the young kids are using. Anyway, good chat, man. I know we were just joshing around. Uh, anyway, 
Have you heard of this boron? So what am I getting at here, guys? Well, you know, I keep going on Reddit and I probably shouldn't. But so often, you know, people are asking for advice on gear and stuff. And everybody just gives them like, you know, train your skills. And it's the archer, not the arrow. And hockey sticks are too expensive. And all this other stuff. And it's just not good advice. At the end of the day, gear will change your game. And if it's tailored to how you perform and the things you do on the ice, you will see massive benefits. I recently got an FT3 Pro and it just showed me how much a stick changes the game. Yes, it's got durability issues, etc. But man, does that thing make my shot absolutely lethal. So again, guys, ignore this Reddit crap and let's just dive into exactly what you should do when you're trying to improve your game. I gotta stop going on Reddit. Every time I read one of those threads, it just blows my mind. You got people asking about gear, and they're like, what curve should I use? What stick should I use? What kick point should I use? And everybody's like, it's the archer, not the arrow, dude. And you know, sticks are too expensive, and all this other crap, and nobody's actually helping anybody. Look, at the end of the day, guys, let's make this really clear. I'm telling you right now, hockey gear and tailored gear to your game helps tremendously. Of course you can work on your skills. Of course you can work on your experience and time on the ice. But at the end of the day, like I said in this video, what do you think is gonna be more effective? This little tiny bow and arrow? Or this massive, giant, huge bow? Yes, I haven't actually used in person. But this is the difference in hockey gear. So it's no different with the type of stick you use, a higher end stick, a kick point change to your game, you know, skates that are actually comfortable. It blows my mind how often I see beer league hockey players with, you know, sticks that are 110 flex, you know, they got some ancient curve, they have a low kick stick that's too stiff, they have skates that are like from Canadian Tire Bowers that were $30, and then they wonder why they can't shoot, they can't skate, and everything is just not working for them. Look, you do not need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars on hockey gear. But I'm telling you right now that you should definitely try different curves and see if your shot improves. You should definitely try different kick points and see if your shot improves. You should definitely spend a little bit more money on skates that are comfortable, fitted to your actual foot, and tailored to your game. Ask around. Get information, not from Reddit, but you know, other players, why do you like the Hyperlights? Why do you like the ASV Pros? Why do you like the mocks? At the end of the day, guys, I stumbled upon this really simply by testing so much gear over the last year. I am a better skater in Hyperlights than I am in mocks. I enjoy my FT4 Pro shoulder pads and I'm much more mobile than I am with my Hyperlights. I really enjoy my ultrasonic gloves more than I did the ASV Pros and my hands felt more comfortable. You know, I love a hybrid kick point stick over a low kick stick. I prefer the P28 over a P92. You add all of those compounded things together and your game improves. It was crazy. When I went back and I tested the ASV Pro gear and I had new skates on in the mocks and I had my different pants on and everything, I was terrible. I was just like stiff. I was rigid. My gloves felt weird. It just wasn't working for me. So my hockey gear choices are tailored to what I'm looking for in gear to how I perform on the ice. And if something's not working, I change it. And I do some research and I find out about it and then I make those changes and that's what I do for the next set of gear. And all my gear has evolved over time. So all this video is guys, is if you're a rec hockey player, beer league hockey player, or even a high-end hockey player, the last thing you should be doing is focusing on all these BS comments about how it's the archer and not the arrow. You can work on your skills by all means, but I'm telling you right now, every time I give somebody some advice on changing their stick type, curve, flex, and gear, the first thing they say to me is, wow, my game is night and day. So get rid of this archer, not the arrow crap and pick up a massive arrow like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.